newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scotto Kataya, and here with me at ITW 2016 is my dear friend Mona Weisberg, who is the director of real estate at Colliers International. Mona, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. Always a pleasure to be with you, uh -huh. my dear, dear friend and colleague in the telecommunications world. <laughs> Well, I love and, and the world in general. Ah, uh, thanks. And and I love chatting with you, Mona, because you really give me an understanding of how the world of telecom and the world of real estate are truly interconnected. Can you mm -hmm. tell us any trends that you're seeing right now? Yeah, well, um, we haven't talked in a while in depth about this, but um, I really do believe, especially in the larger markets like Manhattan, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., I think the guys call it the NFL markets. Yep, yep. Um, I think that the real estate brokers, real estate world is embracing the fact that telecommunications, meaning not only, you know, telecom, like, you know, they plug in their computer at their desk, but what's really behind that data centers, fiber in the streets, fiber through the building, et cetera, is being embraced by these brokers, by the real estate world. Um, as part of the building infrastructure, uh, just as we said it many years ago, the elevators, the water systems, et cetera, um, it is part and parcel of any tenant's needs, um, whether they be in sort of a tech business or traditional manufacturing business or accounting firms, uh, attorneys, lawyers, law firms, et cetera. So I, I think that um, more and more over the years, um, we really have seen uh, brokers come around to really understanding yeah. what it takes to have connectivity for their clients and tenants of the buildings. And it literally raises the value of the real estate up just 100%. by having that diversity. Yep, diversity uh, in terms of the providers in the buildings, diversity in terms of fiber coming into the building through the points of entry, multiple points of entry, um, so that we don't have a situation like we did in Manhattan, for example, with Sandy, where there was one provider in a building, and if the wires got wet or whatever, the telecom, the connectivity out business is shut down down. That's right. I think Sandy in particular taught Manhattan um, and the New York market a great lesson and I think it um, not only uh, affected us at a local level but really um, cities uh, started to really think about moving the telecom, the wiring um, upstairs yeah. if you will. It became a, a great case study if you will mm -hmm. for as sadly as it is uh, for for yeah. national for cities uh, across the country and and, and internationally. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what's going on at Colliers. Uh, Colliers is uh, a global firm. Um, we're a bit smaller than uh, some of the other players in the market, um, being CB Richard Ellis and Cushman and Wakefield. But um, we do compete for some of the same business internationally. Um, in Manhattan, in particular, uh, we um, do third-party management. We do management. We have our own portfolios of buildings, uh, brokerage, of course, um, investment sales, and um, it's full service. It's a great company. Uh, we're located um, at 666 Fifth Avenue, which is uh, a well-known address um, for those who know the New York market. And uh, we really have a great interlace with um, brokers in other cities in the United States and also internationally in South America, Australia, Europe, etc. And I think that the uh, brokerage community community embraces one another um, inside the company and, and tries to um, encourage that the um, brokers that have global firms as clients kind of use one another, not only uh, as brokers in the market um, feet on the ground, but also the research and development that they've done in their, in, you know, in their cities in particular. That's right. That's and market right. knowledge, obviously. Yeah. And, and uh, Small but extremely flexible, and your portfolio is top of the line buildings. So yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely a name to check out. Where can they yeah. go if they're interested in learning more? Uh, well, if they're interested in learning more about Colliers, um, Colliers.com here in the United States, um, and um, 
of course, uh, that can kind of lead you to, to any kind of uh, market in the world. Right. right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Mona. That's for... all you want to ask, Jamie? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> would you like, <laughs> would you like, uh, how about the next six to 12 months? Are you okay with like a predictive? Uh, always, always. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> I can never get enough of Jamie Scotto <laughs> and JSA. Um, I, I just, I just also wanted to add that um, in terms of the New York market, yeah. um, and people always ask me because I'm involved in the uh, data center business as well within New York. Uh, people have been asking me. We just had a conversation downstairs about New Jersey mm -hmm. and now Virginia, and I just kind of wanted to bring up that. Um, Having a New York presence, having a Manhattan presence uh, for your companies, whether it be through a co-location like Telex um, or uh, direct uh, space in a data center, um, is is still important because your employees are in Manhattan and also um, the cross connections are in Manhattan and the interconnection with Europe is in Manhattan. Okay. So it still has to go through uh, one of the major hubs, including, um, as you know, 60 Hudson, yes, or 111 8th Avenue, or uh, 85 10th. But um, as you know, right now, we do, do have space in 60 Hudson, and there are a lot of um, co-location providers that still have space. So uh, just thinking about that in the future, too, in the next 12 months. There hasn't been space in a long time, and now we do have space. So um, oh, not everybody has to run to New Jersey or Virginia. And, and space in Manhattan. As we know. <laughs> Even is, in the real estate, yeah. plus the colo side, is, uh, is very yeah. uh, rare to get. Yes. So it is quite uh, newsbreaking that yeah. 60 Hudson has availability. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, right. now you can break us off. <laughs> All right. So for those who need to know more, and I'm sure there's many of you guys out there, Colliers.com. I'm here again with the fabulous Mona Weisberg. Thank you for joining us, Mona, on JSA TV. Thank and you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in.